Hey there, Submitting here, and welcome back to Marvel Legendary. Last time we lost, but we lost in a way that I feel like I could have prevented if I was playing better, so... I feel like that's an improvement. So, we're fighting the Spider Queen. Spider Queen gets plus one attack for each bystander in the escape pile. She always leads the Spider Infected. Master Strike, each player puts a spider infected from their victory pile into an empty city space. Any player who cannot do so gains a wound. I feel like I've gotten her before? I can't remember. And her scheme is to pull reality into the negative zone. Set up eight twists. Let's twist two, four, and six until the next twist enemies cost recruit to fight and heroes cost attack to recruit. Until the next twist, huh? Okay, the wording is enemies and not just villains. So I guess that also includes the mastermind? Because normally it would just say villains or the mastermind. And evil wins on twist 7, which is a little fast. Okay, we are also fighting uh, Maximum Carnage and the Shield Elite. And we are playing as Loki, Polaris, Magic, Null Breaker of Worlds, and the Red Guardian. We have two enemies of Asgard, which is unusual. It's going to be interesting. <laughs> Because normally you try to build for, like, recruit early game and then sh t switch to attack. Yeah, I don't know. The fact that it lasts until the next twist is very difficult, because I could get stuck that way for a very long time. I guess I'm going to need to, like, get more recruit than I normally do. 4-2 split on both sides. There's a lot of, a uh, lot of covert going around in here. I don't know if you've noticed. Alright. Well, I have four recruit and two attack. What are we doing here? When recruited, send this undercover. When you recruit another covert hero, you may unleash this card from undercover. Alright. Uh... I mean, covert stuff is obviously happening here. Mm. Yeah, there's a lot of good covert synergy going on here. I could buy this one now and then unleash it. Next turn. Okay. I can get KO power on both sides. Ambush, this captures a bystander. Okay, so I can't fight that this turn, but I can fight it next turn. Oh, this didn't go where it was supposed to go. When recruited, send this undercover. Yep. So next turn, I can fight that spider infected because I will have a... I will recruit something with this. Okay, so I can get KO power on both sides. Which is probably a good idea. Piercing energy... Might be a decent way to counter the scheme. I need six piercing energy to fight the Spider Queen, though. Hmm. 
We'll see. Doppelganger's attack is equal to the cost of the hero in the HQ space under him. Feast. The feast is a KO or a fight effect, right? Okay, so he costs three to fight. So I have four recruit and two attack. Could buy this. Fight a villain, you may unleash this from undercover. So I will I can get this, I can fight. And then I can play it and draw a card, which wouldn't be good, because then my deck's gonna be garbage. Oh wait, I could fight you, which would give me the feast, which would KO a gray card guaranteed, and would also unleash this from undercover, which would let me draw a card. Then I would have four cards in my deck, four bad cards in my deck, but I would get the reshuffle immediately. I'd do that. When recruited, you send this undercover. Uh, when you recruit another covert here, you may unleash this from undercover. This is also a good way to deal with the scheme. Reverse polarity. Okay, Polaris is good, good for this scheme. That's good. Okay, so this is two attack. I'm going to fight Doppelganger for three. Oh wait, uh, I can't do that anymore because this is here. So he he's eight now instead of three. I didn't think of that. I didn't think of that at all. But I can fight the spider infected. Okay, so when you rest this bystander, patrol the sewers, it's not empty. The next hero you gain this turn is wall crawl. That's not happening. This is still good because the uh, Spider Queen gets plus one attack for each bystander in the escape pile, so she's obviously a lot harder to fight if I let the, that escape. And whenever I fight a villain, you may unleash this from undercover. Oh wait, I will get the wall crawl effect. Okay, so this is two more recruit, and then I draw a card. Four recruit. Uh, soaring flight? That won't really help me. I'm gonna buy this one. And it has wall crawl. Because of... That. So it goes on top of my deck. Unfortunately, this means my next hand is going to be pretty bad, but after that I get the everything shuffled in. Scheme twist. The first twist doesn't do anything. It's the next twist that's going to make everything all wackadoodle. Okay, so I have four recruit and two attack. I'm going for the covert stuff on both sides, kind of. Hmm. I don't know what I'm doing with this stuff. Like, I very clearly got a lot of good Covert cards. So I think I should just focus on that for now and maybe... pivot into ranged stuff later? Like, these are the only two ranged cards I have so far, so they have to go together if I'm going to buy them.
this is a covert ranged. It's pretty good for bridging the gap. Uh, this has soaring flight, so I get it. I get it into my hand next turn. Oh, beautiful. Ambush. A shield officer enters the city as a three attack villain. When you fight it, gain it as a hero. Okay, so he has shield clearance, which means you need to discard a shield team hero as an additional cost to fight this villain. Uh, so I can fight him this turn. And him. Because I have four attack. I need to discard one of these, which means I would need to buy a sidekick or a recruit, which is fine. Okay, so I'm going to discard this for the shield clearance, and I have four attack and two recruit. So I'm going to fight you for one. Then I'm going to fight you for three. And when you fight it, gain it as a hero. Okay. Two recruit, I'm going to buy a sidekick. Feast. Whenever Carrion feasts on a hero that costs one or more, put Carrion back in the city space where he was. My deck currently is entirely gray cards. And I can fight him this turn. And I would have four recruit left over. Or if I do not KO a shield agent, I could buy this. I feel like I really want the early rec or the early KO, but this KO is something. Okay, so I'm going to play this first. Then I'm going to play this. Let's me draw a new card or an extra card at the end of the turn. So I have five recruit, four attack. I'm going to fight you because this is the best time to do that. He feasts, and I'm going to buy a dimensional portal. Alright, uh, everything is currently topsy-twervy. Enemies cost recruit, and heroes cost attack. So I can fight that this turn. Okay, so I'm going to do this. Rescue a bystander. Draw a card. Okay, so I have four recruit and two attack. I'm going to fight doppelganger. Ooh, this is risky though. I don't know what's in there, what's on top. That's very risky. Am I just going to ignore him? I feel like he's he's not a th he's not a threat. He doesn't have an escape effect. My lose con isn't things escaping. I can just leave him there. Yeah, that's fine. And with my two attack, I'm going to buy a sidekick. Alright, stuff's back to normal. Five recruit, two attack. This having teleport's nice because I can just teleport it until... But I can do that with the other one, too. Like, I can just teleport the other... Like, the the other one's ranged covert. So I can just teleport that until I get the... Enough for this. But... This doesn't really do anything. I 
don't know how I feel about piercing energy. I might buy this. Buy this one. I'm going to buy a sidekick. Ambush Demogoblin captures a bystander. And he also has feasts. These things having feasts is very worrisome. Three attack or recruit. Buy this one gets sent undercover. I'm gonna put the undercover stuff to the right just so I remember it. Re attack isn't enough to fight anything. Oh boy. Um. get both of these effects. So I'm going to start with this. Two attack. We're on normal, right? Yeah, okay. Two attack. Then two attack and make KO a card from my hand or discard pile. And if I do gain a new recruit. Then two recruit. When I draw a new hand of cards at the end of this turn, draw an extra card. So I have five attack and four recruit, and what is the last card in my deck? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, eleven. Both of these are from this side. Okay, so the last card in my deck is a gray card, so I can fight one of these feast things and be safe about it. And I'm going to fight this one, because it's got a bystander. All right, first of all, feast. And then when you can this bystander, can up another bystander. Okay, four recruit. Uh, I guess I'm going like ranged stuff on this side too. It seems like it's going, it'll go pretty well. Yeah, why not? Ambush. This captures a bystander. Detective Wolverine. Uh, okay. Do I want to draw a card or do I want to KO a card? I think I want to KO a card. I get five recruit. I don't need five recruit. I want this card on this side, I think. I don't want the ranged cards on this side. I could buy this one. I feel like if I'm taking the range stuff on the right side, I should also take this card on the right side. So I should just buy this card. So it means I can KO this card. So I'm going to play this one first. Oh, wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's not enough for either of these. So, okay. so yeah, two recruit. Then I'm going to play this one. Get a card from my hand or discard pile, and if I do gain a new recruit. So I got four recruit and four attack. Going to fight the spider infected. I could fight this. I think that's too risky. I'm gonna fight this one. So when you rest this bystander, investigate the villain deck for a villain worth one VP and put it into your victory pile. Well, okay. Uh, you can go on the bottom. I don't want to deal with you. That was a mistake. That was definitely a mistake, but it's too late now. Uh, fight the next hero you gain this turn gets wall crawl, and I get this card to my hand. 
So I'm going to recruit this. So it has Soaring Flight and Wall Crawl. Um, I don't know which of these takes priority. I sure don't. Well, Wall Crawl's optional, so I'm gonna I'm gonna put it there, and then I'm gonna do this to recruit draw a card for recruit. Okay, with the four recruit, I could buy one of these. It doesn't do anything on the side. I could buy this. I think I'm gonna just buy a sidekick and a recruit. Shield clearance. Um, let's start with one attack draw a card. I have two piercing energy, which isn't enough to do anything. Cool. Good, uh, good card that I have purchased there. I think I would do. I want to do the KO effect. Can I fight this turn? I can fight this. Shield clearance. Which means I need to discard this. Two, three, four is enough. One, two, three. Okay, timing matters. So to fight it, I need to do the discard. to discard this one. So I can KO that with this. No, I can't. Because I need to play this first to fight him. So I can't KO this card. I cannot KO any card this turn. Which means I should play this first so I can play this. Okay. Wait, I already have one attack from the new recruits. Yeah, yeah, I already have one attack. So I can KO this card. And discard this card. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Right. One, two, three, four. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, so I'm going to play this first, then I'm going to play this, and KO this card, which gets me a new recruit. Then I'm going to play this, and I'm going to buy an officer. Then I'm going to play this. Wait a minute, I can just discard this. What am I doing? I'm thinking so hard and I don't even need... Wait, no, I can't. I need to discard this one because it has to be a shield card. Right. I can't discard this. Yeah, you must discard a shield team here. Okay, so this card just doesn't do anything right now. But that's fine. But I, because I discarded this card. Fight. Each player with no shield officers in their discard pile gains a wound. Well, I just bought one on this side. And this side has this one. So that's fine. Ambush this captures a bystander. Okay. Five recruit and three attack or five attack or six attack. Six attack isn't enough to fight this. The five attack doesn't. I don't want to fight these. So I guess I'm just doing the three attack. I 
This would be better on the right side. Ugh, this is annoying, because all the range stuff would be so much better on the right. I should keep... I need to kill the spider infected, though. Because all these bystanders are dangerous to leave around. Okay, so I've got five recruit, three attack. I'm doing this one. Time bomb, one attack, and put it on top of the deck. And then I'm fighting the spider infected. Not already went there. The next hero you gain this turn has wall crawl. Uh. I need the city to get cleared. I can't. I can't just leave this like that. Okay, I can get all these piercing energy cards on the right side, and that might be good. Okay, scheme twist. It's topsy turvy zone again. Enemies cost recruit, and heroes cost attack. All right, I would like to purchase this card. Uh, can I fight you this turn? I was going to phase this, but now I'm not. So I have five recruit, or five attack, and three recruit. I'm going to buy this card. Okay. And the three recruit, I can't do anything. Shield clearance. Escape fortify the shield officer stack while it's fortified. Whenever any number of shield officers become villains, an extra one becomes a villain. Okay. So eight. Nine, ten. I can get up to ten attack this turn. I don't need ten attack. But I'd like eight. I forgot Null was here. Is this the first Null card we've seen? This is so good at countering the scheme. I should buy this one. So two attack, then I'm choosing Boomer. Three attack and put this on the bottom of the sidekick deck. Then this, two attack, and since I played a covert card, it's two more attack. So I have 9 attack and 3 recruit. I'm going to buy reverse polarity. Null is very much the uh, odd man out of this setup. I don't know if I'm buying any null cards at all. Like, this is worthless right now. All right, this says Soaring Flight. All right. Uh, I do have Piercing Energy. Okay, I'm going to start with this. Then I'm going to play this. Two Piercing Energy draw a card. Piercing Energy, draw a card. Um, to recruit. When I draw an extra hand of cards at the end of this turn, I draw an extra card. Um, 
Okay, I need to play this if I want to buy this card. With four piercing energy, I can fight one of these. That's a risky feast. Or is it? I've got most of my good cards in my hand right now. to not play this one. I'm going to use the piercing energy. To fight this. Oh, fuck my life. That sucks. Ah, uh, God. Well, now, certainly, I won't feast on a non great card, right? Okay. Now, I guess I will play this, since I was planning on using this shield clearance to fight this guy, but I don't need to anymore. I'm going to buy Electromagnetic Pulse. Kind of want that on this side. So I can get this X gene effect. And I'll just buy a sidekick. Okay, I can probably fight Spider Queen this turn. I'm going to start with this, draw two. Then one attack, draw a card. Okay, one attack, going to buy this. That's so weird. That is a weird effect. Okay, four recruit and X gene X Men. I can use recruit as attack this turn and vice versa. So I do have an X gene card in there, or an X Men card in my discard pile, so I get that X gene effect. I'm going to play this to recruit draw a card. I have 11 recruit and 3 attack. I'm going to start by fighting the Spider Queen. Uh, fight. Reveal the top 8 cards of the villain deck. Put all bystanders you reveal into the escape pile. Put the rest on the bottom of the villain deck in random order. No bystanders. I did get two scheme twists though, which is nice, putting those near the bottom. And then I rescue this. When you rest this bystander clone the next hero you recruit this turn, that is a printed cost of three or less. Okay. What do I want to recruit? I could recruit this. Maybe I should have bought God of Mischief. Instead of fighting Spider Queen? No, no, no. Maybe I don't fight anything. Or maybe I don't recruit anything this turn. Maybe I just fight... You. Discard this for shield clearance instead of playing it. And fight you. 
Uh, fight a shield officer enters the city as a three attack villain. When you fight it, gain it as a hero. And then I can use my attack as recruit this turn. So I'm going to fight this. Gain it as a hero. I don't really want this, but that's fine. Alright, I'm going to start with one attack. Draw a card. Going to send this under cover to KO. Well, first I play it to get the two recruit, then I send it under cover and KO this card. Um, going to discard this for costs to fight you. By a sidekick. Master Strike. Each player puts a spider infected from their victor pile into an empty city space. Any player who cannot do so gains a wound. Wait a minute. What do you mean this side doesn't. What? <laughs> Not believe that side does not have a uh, spider infected. All right, two attack, two recruit, draw a card. Two recruit. When I draw a new hand of cards, I draw an extra card. Then four attack. Okay, so I have six attack and seven recruits. fight you. Uh, the next hero you gain this turn is Wall Crawl, and when you risk this device and reveal the top three cards of your deck, draw each of them that has at least ten rules of word, words rule text. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yep. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, yep. Okay. And what do you do with the rest of them? Put the rest back in any order. Okay. So one attack, draw a card. Uh, two attack, I may KO a card from your hand or discard pile, and if I do gain a new recruit. And five recruits. I'm gonna fight this. I'm gonna buy God of Mischief. I don't like this card. Don't like that at all. Okay, twist, everything's back to normal. Fight villains with attack and recruit heroes with recruit. Get five attack this turn. I'm gonna start by playing this. Play this. Two piercing energy draw card. Play this. Two piercing energy draw card. I'm gonna play this. Two recruit when you draw your hand of cards. You draw an extra card. And this is five attack. And this is five attack. Or eight attack. All right, I'm going to fight the Spider Queen. Put a bystander from the bystander deck into the escape pile, then each spider infected in the city captures a bystander. Well, that's rude. So now she costs nine to attack. The piercing energy is once again not doing anything. That's fine, I'll just need more piercing energy, right? 
right? Okay. start with this each player reveals a I think this enemies of Asgard ally or reveals their hand for each player that revealed their hand you may swap a card from that hand with a card in the lair of the same cost so this is a may so both sides are just going to reveal their hand and I may swap a card from here with a card in the HQ with the same cost I could swap this for this I don't really think that matters. I don't want either of these four cost cards. I could get this one instead of this one. How much attack would I have to turn if, if I bought this? This is so weird. I could take like all of the bad cards from the other deck and make the right side just super clean and powerful. Yeah, well, whoop, whoops. This goes back on top. I didn't see it. I didn't see it. I promise. I did see it, but it's fine. Okay. I'm going to play this. Look at the top two cards of another player's deck without revealing them. Call one of them good and one of them bad. That player puts one of those cards into their discard pile and the other into your discard pile. Okay, this one's good. This one's bad. That's almost certainly a mistake. I'm going to fight the Spider Queen right now. Fight. You may gain a Spider-Man hero from the HQ. Well, there, there are none. Bump, bump. Okay, I'm going to teleport this card, actually. I have three attack and three recruit. I'm going to fight this. The next hero I gain this turn has wall crawl, and I gain a sidekick when I rescue this. Then with three recruit, I'm going to buy this one, and it has wall crawl. Twist, we're back in topsy turvy land again, and the next twist, evil wins. So, well, thankfully, the last two twists are both in the bottom eight cards, so I'm not going to lose too quickly. Okay, so I'm going to start with this KO card from my hand or discard pile. And I'm going to. I have four of these cards, right? I think so. I'm going to play this one first. Then I'm going to play this. Two piercing energy draw card. This two piercing energy draw card. Well, never lucky. I have three attack and two recruit. Goodbye, a sidekick. And look at all of this piercing energy. Uh... All right. Start with this one attack draw a card. Play this, gain a sidekick. And I'm going to play this, gain a sidekick, and another sidekick. Then this is four attack. This is two recruit draw a card. Two recruits, draw a card. Bro. Two 
to attack. I'm going to discard this for shield clearance to fight Sharon Carter. Then I have eight recruit. I'm going to buy Champion of the Winter Guard and send it undercover. Captures a bystander. All right. Two attack, then two recruit, and I draw an extra card at the end of the turn. This is three attack, and this is two piercing energy. Draw a card, draw two cards. Uh, two piercing energy, draw a card. Two piercing energy, draw a card. Two piercing energy, draw a card. Okay, so that's seven attack, four recruit, and eight piercing energy. This requires six piercing energy. Can I fight? Okay, I can fight this with one piercing energy. Uh, the next hero I gain this turn gains wall crawl. I'm not going to do that effect. And I have six attack. I'm going to fight this one. A feast. And KO any of your heroes are here from your discard pile. I'll KO this one. I'm going to use seven piercing energy to fight the Spider Queen. Each other player reveals a Spider Man hero, puts a bystander from their victory pile into the escape pile. All right, I have one. GG. This, uh, oh wait. Whoops, <laughs> I didn't fight this. Which means this goes back, this, this goes back here, and this goes back here. I didn't have enough I needed to fight him with recruit. I couldn't fight him with recruit. But I you could I could fight her with piercing energy though. That still worked. So I still won. I just didn't fight that guy. Okay. This is the first time I've ever had piercing energy work. Where's my other piercing energy card? Oh there it is. This uh, Loki card, where is it? Is it in my deck? Nope. Where is this Loki card? Oh, that, no? There's the one. Yeah, this one's interesting. You can basically just like take all the bad cards from another player's deck and let their deck just be th super thin. It's, I don't know if that's a good strategy or not, but it's interesting. Anyway, let's count some victory points. Thirty, thirty-one. This side had two ultimates, right? It had this one and it had the Loki one. So left side got 34, and right side got 34. Perfectly balanced, as all things should be. Anywho, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.